Hello there, I'm the Star Wars Guy, and welcome back to the Cantina of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Well, I was 16 minutes into a video and experienced a fatal crash. So, that video is lost forever, but I will tell you what happened. We lost this Grand Arena, unfortunately, uh, with a pretty pathetic score of 925. We did good up here. We destroyed this team with the... Uh, uh, the Vader trio. Probably could have just done the Vader solo. We destroyed this team with... Um, who did we use? Uh, the Sith. With a Nihilus lead. They did end up killing Nihilus. So that was one stumble. And then back here, we stumbled on these guys. Uh, we went in Phoenix. They killed the Phoenix. And then we went back in with clones. And the clones handled it pretty well. So maybe we could have started with clones to begin with. That was our fatal mistake. Because over here, we did not quite have the firepower to finish out their ships before they could finish out ours. So they ended up with 940, we ended up with 925. They didn't um, beat our ships either. So that's why the scores are so low. Now, the other thing we did in the video before it crashed was we went over here and did a credit heist. Do these credit heists, we got 5 million credits, uh, two and a half million twice. That seems to be the most common reward. You can get upwards of 20 million credits from that though. So do that. But I figured we jump back in here and we'll do some Galactic War, some Squad Arena, some farming, grinding, mods, all that stuff. Oh, and actually, you'll notice we spent our mod energy. When it crashed, we were going through and getting mods. So you wanna get them from the challenges, you wanna go up to tier three. We did health, crit chance, potency, and speed. Of course, refreshing the energy to pull that off. Now, I was out of town yesterday, so I expect us to have fallen a little bit. We're at 30, that's not too bad. Ooh. Let's have some fun, see if we can kill these Geos. Our team is becoming a, a Geonosian's nightmare at this point, and I think we have the speed advantage. Yes, we do. And they have an extra person, meaning we're gonna get extra buffs and probably cull our boy GBA right out of there in the beginning. I thought, um... Oh, he's tough. He's got some health. I thought it ignored stealth, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, come on! I'm gonna pass to you. I don't want to fracture the brute. I want to fracture. Big boy. GBA. Ability block, beautiful. We're getting him. One more hit, stun. Now we'll fracture you, yes. Now you're stuck. That's what I wanted to do. And then Vader's gonna pop back off with a uh, Merciless any minute. And that's gonna spell defeat for these guys. While the Brute stays stunned, we can just do, there we go, there we go. Oh, look at this. Okay, it's over now, guys, it's over. We go here, we call you. Smack you. These are just gonna basic. They're all gonna die from basics. Let's hit it with this just in case. Boom. Sure. Overkill. What was that 13,000 or 137,000? I think it was 137. All right, there you go. That's how you do a geo kill. For those of you scared of geos, Vader is a pretty good counter to them. In here, we're working on. Uh, we were not quite done working through the store. I believe actually the store is when it crashed. So we were down here. We did buy our. Uh, Colonel Stark, he's 60 of 65. Over here, we're just buying ships. That's all we're doing. Because, as you can see from Grand Arena, our ships need a lot of work. Uh, that's totally expected. Not too worried about that. Now, in this store, we're looking for Darth Maul at this point. That's it. Because we have Vader. Um, okay, in this store... You know, honestly, I'd say... And, and for most of you, I would say spend your Get to currency on one of these two capital ships, 100%. Uh, but for us, I probably will be spending that stuff on gear 13 because my goal is to get Sith Eternal Emperor as fast as possible. That does not require ships. So uh, yes, it's beneficial to have ships. You're, you guys are probably trying to do a nice, well-rounded roster. You're gonna wanna do that. But what you guys have to remember when you watch this account and give me your suggestions is our goals. A lot of you are like, go for CLS. And that's great that you like CLS, but that has absolutely nothing to do with our goals on either of my accounts. So you have to keep in mind the goals and that'll help you in this game going all the way to the top. 
So with that in mind, let's buy everything that Vader needs in here. There's a lot of it. We can make some big progress right here because we just finished a uh, Geonosian territory battle. Actually went okay. So I know, I know I'll see some comments, you know, you definitely should have gotten negotiator malevolence, but then think about like all the ships I have to grind with each of those to make it happen. And it's like, we don't have the time or the resources to spare for that. So that's what, that's my thinking there. Okay. Let's jump in here. We have Cantina Energies going all to Sith Marauder at the moment. And since we have a surplus of crystals, we are doing 100 refreshes on him until it hits 200. And he should honestly be up super fast. We keep doing these full refreshes on him and he's accelerated. He should be up within within a week or so to seven stars. And these, these are pretty pathetic drops. That's all right. Piet, very important. And in fact, important enough that I want to go ahead and do some refreshes on him as well to speed him up because he is not accelerated. And again, we have a crystal surplus, so let's put that to good use. Now up here, still working on, uh, you know, mods basically for our Phoenix, because what we're going to do is load out done with mod energy though, so we don't have anything there. But I did want to take a look. I think Vader's good to go. He's got good speed, good mods, all that stuff. How, how are we doing? Okay, you got you got some stuff. Not bad. I'm I'm planning on as they as those slice up, I'm banking on the fact that some of those are gonna get higher in speed, not just stay where they were. Okay, this is garbage. We don't want that. He's gonna need Tarkin needs a lot of help. But he's also he actually is an army in a squad, isn't he? So we need definitely need to work on his mods. Dooku, I think, is actually pretty good as well. 30. Good. Something, something, something. Dark side. Perfect. Thrawn. So Tarkin's the worst off. Thrawn just needs an arrow. Hopefully we got a health arrow. You can also sort speed, but let's do it this way. Looking for a speed primary. Let's see if there's anything we missed. Yeah, so no speed primary because we have this three star one, which we're going to sell. Make sure you're selling all your three and four dot mods. Only invest in the five dot mods. How come it won't let me sell that one? It's very weird to me. Whatever. Um, okay, there's a speed arrow. So we could probably rearrange some stuff. Let's do this. Now, one of these, we need to change to health. Any of them. Health with a speed secondary. Try to pick the one with the lowest speed, which looks like definitely not the cross. <clears throat> the square. Let's see if we get a decent roll here. We have the credits now. Okay, that's not bad. Let's do that. Not even gonna try again. Okay, so we have the health bonus. Last thing we have to do, upgrade this one full, and Tarkin is ready to roll. Boom, 30 speed. Love it. Okay, so Tarkin's a little little better modded, ready to go. What's his speed? 233. As long as they're kind of in the twos, I'm happy. Dooku should be pretty fast as well. He's he tends to be faster anyway, 229. Uh, Vader should be our fastest. 202, okay. Doesn't he get a speed boost through his unique? Yeah. So he's gonna get eight um, for each Empire ally, Sith ally, which are which is our whole squad. And also Jedi enemy and rebel enemy. So a lot of times he's gonna go first, which is exactly what we want. Okay, Tarkin, my friend. 
Oh, let's look at what you got, because you need some help. Okay, not great. Definitely need help there. Um, let's see what we have in the way of arrows with a speed primary. Just the bad one. Don't want to keep all those. Okay, so his arrow's going to have to stay for now. Oh, I hit default. Confirm. A little bit of modding here for you guys. Modding is one of the more confusing aspects of this game. We're just going health and potency, but honestly we could go... Speed and potency. Speed and health. look like we have let's see what this is let's see all right if this if this goes up okay it didn't it still has speed though so i'm gonna take it all the way up um nothing really doing there i'll swap that any potency with some speed all right here we go let's see what we got nope Not having good luck with his mods, huh? Tenacity, not too worried about that. We've not had the best luck rolling good stats in this account. That is for sure. Come on. Come on. Show me something good. Eh. I think he's gonna have to kind of stick around with nothing for now. Let's let's go ahead and fill him out with a health set though, so we can at least have. Ooh, crit damage triangle. This rolls good speed. That's not bad. Okay, well that's that's not a terrible mod. Come on, guys, give me give me something here. Reason I'm going to 12 is because it then reveals all four secondaries without you having to take it to, all the way to 15 which is another 162,000 credits. So it's a big jump there. Definitely worth saving your credits. I don't see anything in here that we need. This really sucks. We're gonna go uh, with just one of these health mods in general though. I'll just go with this uh, crit damage one here. So there we go. And I will, so we see we have two golden health sets with one non-golden health set. That's because this one's not all the way up to level 15. But I am gonna go ahead and boost that. Now we see we're trading off some stats with this, but that's all good. Overall, it was a positive move, I think. Um, not great, but we'll, we'll figure that out for later. Probably end up putting that set on Kanan. This Vader set is absolutely going on Ezra. This is absolutely going on Hera. This is probably going on Zeb, which means this one will probably go on Chopper. So we'll get in there. Attempt a little bit more of the Thrawn events. Challenges, okay. And I believe today is the Zeta Day challenge. I actually believe it's all the challenges on fleet, so love that. We're gonna try to put a little bit of effort into ships, but we're not gonna try to put too much. There's only one ship we're worried about, and that is the Imperial TIE Bomber, and we only need him at six stars. So that's gonna be one of the last things we farm. It's gonna happen when we probably start farming relics for a lot of these people. I'd like to get that Vader up, man. He's gonna dominate. There it is. So check this out. One time, I think last last time this popped up, I did this one because it, I, I wish they would fix that. Like, I know I can't battle it and I get that it's grayed out, but that's, that's confusing at first glance. I clicked it once and I was like, oh, just lost to Zeta. Hey, but we gained five. Oh, wait, you guys didn't see that, did you? Because the game crashed. We completed a, a feat of some kind in Grand Arena that resulted in five Zetas and like a bunch of prestige. So we jumped up in Zetas quite a bit. Next Zeta. Where do we want to put it? I'm not sure. We can definitely do that stuff, but not super worried about inflating GP to 
you know, just have a Mace Windu ship. Squad Arena, do we have time for another one? We do! Okay. We're definitely not going up against a Relic 7 Vader. Let's try it and see what happens. It's somewhat of a mirror match. We're at a disadvantage. They have a stronger Sith lineup than we do, but we'll see what we can do. We have a speed advantage, that's nice. Which means we can go Merciless, which means we can probably kill... Uh, maybe we'll try to kill Palpatine or something first. Get Basil out of there. Come on, give me one more call. Beautiful. She's gone. Okay. We can work on whittling Vader down. Let's go ahead and fracture Nihilus. We don't have to worry about him for a second. Give me some stuns on Scion. Nice. We get that Vader out of here. He's the biggest problem. Look at this, guys. Look at this team go. Should have gone Merciless. Didn't see it. There we go. Let's, uh, let's call you. Look at this. This team didn't even get a chance to move. That's one thing I do like having about or having Dooku in this squad is for the stuns. The stuns and the counterattacks and all that stuff, he's great, but eventually we'll probably move away from that in favor of uh, full Empire squad. Wow, okay, well that was good, we did that, nice. Okay, that is all for today. Thank you guys for being here with me, I'm the Star Wars guy. Please subscribe below for more Star Wars content every single day, and I will see you guys in the next video.